Thanks for staying with us. So it's Tuesday, and we always discuss health on Tuesday. So yesterday, 25th of April, was World Malaria Day. Matt annually to focus global attention on malaria and its devastating impacts on families, communities, and social development, especially in sub-Saharan Africa. Joining us to discuss more on this is Dr. Abimbola Oshino, a Lagos State Malaria Elimination Program Manager. Welcome, madam, to the show. Thank you very much. So you're trying to eliminate malaria only within Lagos State? Oh, no. Ah, Nationwide. <laughs> so tell us about the work you've done. I mean, yesterday was World Malaria Day. Oh, yes. What work are you doing, and um, how can we support the work you're doing? Okay, thank you so much. Um, and I'm really happy to be here. World Malaria Day is a day that is celebrated to create awareness generally about malaria. Um, malaria is a preventable and curable disease caused by the bites of infected Anopheles mosquitoes. Um, and it's, um, it's transmitted, rather, by the bites of Anopheles mosquitoes. And it's caused by Plasmodium um, species. There are, very, there are various types, but the one that is commonest in this environment is Plasmodium falciparum. So generally, malaria is quite, um, can be deadly, particularly if it's not managed properly in our pregnant women and children <coughs> under five. So as a state, what we do is um, um, we want to ensure that everyone is aware of how to prevent malaria, part of which is ensuring that our pregnant women and children, when they go for, the pregnant women, when they go for their, um, when they go for antenatal, antenatal services, they are given a net, and our children under five, when they finish or complete their immunization schedules, they are given a net. Likewise, our pregnant women, when they are pregnant, from 16 weeks, they commence on what we call intermittent preventive therapy in pregnancy. And that is the use of sulfadoxine pyrimethamine, which they are to use monthly till delivery. Likewise, we also have a responsibility as individuals. Our environment, what are we doing about it? Your sphere of influence, what are you doing about it? Is it clean? Because many of us do not realize that we, actually, we can actually be breeding mosquitoes. So if you have containers at home that are not covered. Those are fantastic breeding sites. Containers of water, your gutters, they are not flowing. You may have leaves, you may have um, plants at home that collect water. So any form of water body or anything that can collect water can actually breed mosquitoes. So we, we, we ourselves the duty to ensure that we do not in any way have those around us. And then how, and how are we disposing of our waste? Because they also serve as breeding sites. And then likewise, uh, many of us, we are fond of saying, oh, once I have a fever, it is malaria. If we do not test before we commence treatment, we can get ourselves into trouble. There are many other diseases that mimic malaria. COVID-19, for instance. Um, stress, Lagos stress itself too can, you know, <laughs> mimic, malaria. mimic malaria. Diarrhea, upper respiratory tract infections, there are quite a number of them. So we need to ensure that we are testing ourselves before mm. treating, before we start any, any okay. form of medication. Yes, ma'am, I think... Um the way Nigeria is, it seems like everybody naturally has malaria. Because once you go to the hospital, you're feeling a certain type of way. The first thing is uh, either do a malaria test or take malaria medications. And I, I'm worried that even in 2022, we're still talking about malaria and how many deaths we're having from malaria. Now, in going further, is there any plan to tap into the vaccines? Because I know that there are vaccines available. Yes. Is there plan, Lagos State planning to tap into this vaccine so that we see how we can, at least for the children, if we can sort them out, the adults will find ways to take care of themselves. Okay. So the vaccines have actually started, um, they've started using them in three countries in Africa, Ghana, Kenya, and Malawi. Definitely, it's one thing that we are going to get to eventually, but they've just, it's, has, it's just a process. It's a pilot phase and gradually to be expanded with time. So for the time, about a million children have been vaccinated in these countries. But like I mentioned, it's a, it's a gradual process by the World Health Organization and definitely will come, come down to us. Yeah, I was going to ask you about the vaccines. Then you talked about the vaccines. We humans, we have a distrust of vaccines, as you could see during the COVID-19. Even me, even though I took the va vaccine, I've been praying that I don't <laughs> see one disease down the line that was caused by the vaccine. <laughs> I would have thought that in Africa, we have managed to manage malaria by treating it, by building an, um, an immunity yes. to the disease. When you catch it enough times, your body, mosquito can bite you till next year, you won't catch malaria. Do you think it's necessary to do this vaccine? How are you going to convince citizens that this malaria, this vaccine is Small not... Point. One foreign <laughs> way of agenda. I heard agenda. Six, six, six. Okay, the vaccines are basically for children between the ages of six months 
to five years. If you remember when I spoke, I talked about the vulnerable groups. The vulnerable groups are pregnant women and children under five. So the vaccines are targeted to them because of the fact that um, they are prone, the immune system is not as developed as those of the adults. Mm. Then, at the same time, we also have to consider the fact that I mentioned breeding sites. We, if you're not in any way manage our environment, we can spray as much as we can, we can do everything single, we can treat ourselves, but we'll keep getting reinfected because the, tra um, the transmission is also re-happening. So definitely, everybody has a part to play. So as much as we're using the vaccines, we also have to ensure that we are doing the proper things. Mm -hmm. We are sleeping inside our nets. Our pregnant women are taking um, the intermittent preventive therapy in pregnancy. Our environment's very clean. And we are testing before we start any form of treatment. Can pregnant have, women have, take the vaccine? Oh, for now. No, <laughs> it's no. strictly for children. Um, I have children two questions for you. And I'll, I'll start with one. I have a friend, and I hope she's watching, that I know that every three or four months, she just gives malaria drugs. With or without... The body is not hot. She just, her own is prevention. I can't be going to the hospital. So every three months, she calls her all her children. Hey, I'm going to the area drugs. After dose. that, so next three or four months again, she calls them again. Gather. So is that, and I told her, like, why would you die? For me, it's like, it sounds really, really weird. But what would you say to that kind of person? I would advise that person to stop. Why am I saying this? In the past, we used to use chloroquine to mm. treat malaria. Unfortunately, chloroquine is not as effective as it used to be. We now have a tamicinin based combination therapy, yeah. ACTs. The ACTs, they are the only medications that we have at the moment. If we overuse them and we abuse it them and, and it stops working, there's really nothing to fall back on. Wow. The mortality would increase. Wow. Our ACTs are used for treatment, not for prevention. Hmm. Prevention is one way, one, one way that has worked is sleeping inside the nets. And when Those we ensure that we. It can be uncomfortable, but then when you think of the costs of treatment, the time, the economic cost, because many of us just look at the fact that it is quite uncomfortable. You forget the fact that um, you're going to waste time treating yourself. If you are, okay, let me put the scenario this way. A child is ill. No matter how bad it is, the entire scenario of the, of the home has been disrupted. That child will probably need admission. The parents would have to take time away oh, from what? work. Okay, the children would also, if, if they are more than one, if there's one, more than one child, the children, the other children will be neglected for the time being. We haven't put all of that into consideration. If you quantify that in terms of cost, it is much more than sleeping inside the nets. Mm. And even the economic cost in terms of how much the nets are and how long you're using them for. For instance, let's say I assume the nets are 2,000 and you're going to use them for like four to five years. How much is it per year that you're right. actually saving? So in terms of discomfort, it's discomfort for a while. If we do the proper thing in terms of um, when we get the nets, we're supposed to spread them for 24 hours under shade, not in, not in sunlight. And then ensure that... <laughs> it's not sunlight, though. No, it's under the shade, <laughs> under the shade, not in sunlight. Oh, yeah, there, so I time. wanted to ask about, um, you know, we've been talking about um, malaria, sleeping under the net, but in some people's cases, it's not the sleeping period that the mosquito bites them. The mosquito bites them like when they are awake. It's not at night. It's during the day. It is outside the house, mosquito bites. So even though they sleep under the net, they are still susceptible. And there are societies that have been able to reduce... Eradicate malaria, Eradicate malaria. So as a country that we still have so many mortalities from malaria, how can we move from a place where, from where we are now to a place where we Total have eradication. eradicated malaria? I like this question. I will tell you why. Malaria is not my problem. It's not your problem. It is our problem. I have a role to play. The government has a role to play. When I, make, when I do my own bit, that little bit that you think is little, and every other person does, that little bit, it goes a long way. In terms of environment, I'll talk about environmental management because that translates a lot of, because when we keep our environment clean, it's not just mosquitoes alone that we are preventing. We are preventing a lot more other illnesses. Mm, Rat, rats. rats. Rats would stop being a burden mm. in the environment. Mm. So when we talk about environmental management, what are you doing about that dirt, that container, mm. that um, pet bottle that you have around? Are you just throwing it, the pure water bottle, um, paper, are you, or nylon, are you just throwing it on the road? They go a long way. They go ahead to block uh, drains. You may think that, oh, it's just this one. But you just this one, and another person just this one. Over time, <coughs> it will build up, and definitely our gutters are, and drains are all blocked. Then there's flooding. Then you have receptacles for mosquitoes to breed. Mm -hmm. So there's no way we can t totally error. Even, even if you sleep inside the net, the mosquitoes are still breeding. The day you, when you move out of the net, they will bite you. Hmm. So definitely, everybody You know I love your response? Because Nigerians are, waiting, Nigerians are waiting for the government to turn it to switch. 
I said, yes, we've eradicated malaria. Wake up woman they announced. It's not going to happen. <laughs> we, the people, exactly. Viking, we, the people, exactly. must begin to stop and play our own role in this matter because nobody's going to flip a switch and then eradicate malaria. Yeah. Yeah. But there are also environments that will not even allow you. So I remember uh, when I was living somewhere else, <laughs> there was this, uh, there were houses just before my own fence that had pit toilets. That was all they could afford. And at night, we see rats coming out of there. And I very fought good. rats for a very long time. They would come in, eat your food. No matter how I, you know, um, close it's my, area. make sure that my, my, my beans are packed and everything, they eat my nets to come in and start eating clothes and eating so can newspapers. Can a pit be well, yes. can so be probably managed? Can, when you find yourself in such an environment that it's beyond what you're doing in your immediate, how do you eradicate malaria in that Area. Now, when it comes to pit latrine, malaria does not, mosquitoes do not breed in those areas. However, you're talking of rats. Um, the, the people living in those places have a responsibility to ensure that they dispose of their waste properly. Whichever method they're using, it is a proper, properly um, structured environment that is clean. Because it's not just rats you're going to be dealing with, you're going to be dealing with house flies as well. Cockroaches. All sorts of insects and um, rodents will be around. So those, uh, those kind of people, well, if it's beyond you, sometimes the government would have to come in. Mm. So within the local government, you can actually report to the environmental health office where those people can be, you know, dealt with accordingly. If the area, if the, um, if the house is not properly um, structured, they can actually put sanctions on them to ensure that they do the proper thing and they're not in any way invade other people because of their own inconvenience. So my, sec my second question, nobody, nobody, nobody says, has, everybody, everybody has, has a thing. Before your second question, because you know you, you're always on government sites. <laughs> I'm not always on government sites. These nets, they were supposed to be free. And I used to see them, they were selling them everywhere. They're free. They're supposed to be free. They are, I, I used to free. sell them. Some are selling, but it's free. This same nets that is are supposed to be... It's we the people that are selling it yes. on the road. It's with free. The people. In the hospitals, it's free. They'll collect I it in the free. hospital and go and we the people will not go outside and start selling it. Yeah, that's not just buy from them. Uh -huh. So we're all, we're all called, we're complicit. The other question I want to ask you, <laughs> I'm guilty of this. And, and, I mean, and, and I don't want, I want you to let me know if I'm right. Oh, no, no, I'm wrong, no. <laughs> but there's some times where some people like me, I don't have insurance. I mean, I'm, I'm looking for a good insurance. If you guys can find a good insurance, I'll be happy to pay. A good, so I, I pay out of pocket. Now, I know how much I, I pay in the hospitals, taking my child also, because to prevent that payment, whenever their body's hot and everything, I say, well, actually, shush, 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 you can't bring malaria, you can't buy malaria for me mm -hmm. and use for them, because I, ca I can't go through that whole thousand, thousand again in the hospital. Mm -hmm. So that's what a lot of moms like me do, because we automatically, once your body's hot and you're weak, it's we malaria. just give malaria, we just give malaria drugs. I know it's not right, but how else can we do it in a way that it is right? <laughs> <laughs> Beyond the, okay, insurance is one way. The other way is to, um, we have what we call malaria rapid diagnostic test kits, okay. which you can get in the... Oh, fantastic. In, I didn't um, know that. In, you can get in, um, in a pharmacy or a mm. chemist. It's very much around. So you can actually use it ah, okay. to test before okay. you your treat. Yeah. Oh, great. Or yourself you still home, treat. Yes. And still spend test. money. We know how to treat it because it's the same thing they tell you. It's cost cost give you with yeah. 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 This way it's cheaper than you having to go and so do your test. It. Because under yeah. a consultation, you pay for just... But there's a yes. process. You want to ensure that you're doing the... We follow you're treating it, follow the right the, malaria. No, besides that, you are following the instructions as it is. As it is. We'll follow it. Can we get that Because what has happened is because people treat themselves with these drugs, so when they, are, they don't even have my... Uh, yeah. So, in Nigeria, m many years ago, chloroquine, you couldn't use chloroquine, nevaquine. Nevaquine gone has been... Yeah. 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 You can't... You know, there was okay, we have to wrap up. Fire. So, it's world, yesterday was world malaria. Is there any yes. message you want to pass before we wrap up? Yes, everybody's effort counts. We all have a role to play. It's not just the government's problem. It's everyone's problem. And until we realise that we need to... Do our own bits. Government no should be arresting how. the people that are not doing their work now. Yeah. <laughs> Government is chasing Boko Haram, please. Leave them alone. Just go and arrest you. Let them go and do it. Well, do we really need to be told what to do? Exactly. We know, we know what to Everything. do. Everything. Government, 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 government. Some of us we do it, but government. some people don't do it. That's, well, I guess we need to enforce tr truly. Do, or can I not know that they shouldn't go on the wrong side of the road? This Enforcement would actually do arrest them. They will go. We have to wrap up. Thank you very much. That's all we can take on the show, madam. It was a pleasure having you on the show. Nice meeting you too. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.